For this project, you will need a skein of yarn, a loom knit tool, a crochet hook, and I'm using a flower peg, 12 peg loom. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And we're not going to place it on the loom. We're going to place it on the crochet hook instead. Don't tighten it all the way, but tighten it enough to secure it. So we're going to start with peg one and we're going to wrap peg one around the slip knot and take the crochet hook with the working yarn and pull it through the loop. Then we'll go to peg two and do the same thing. And we're just grabbing that working yarn and pulling it through the loop on the crochet hook. We're working from the inside of the loom. Don't get discouraged. Sometimes you do uh, lose track of your yarn, but that's normal. Just keep going. See, like I just did. It's totally normal. I just All you have to do is pick it back up and continue. And just continue your way around the loom. Okay, we are at the last peg. Place that working yarn in front of the peg and take the loop and place it on top of the last peg. Just place it over the peg. After this is when you'll continue your pattern. So this is just an example. If you had an e-wrap stitch, you would just continue with the e-wrap stitch. Whatever stitch calls for. This is the unit stitch. You would just continue with that stitch and that's it. Let's have another look. A lot of people like the chain cast on because it gives a neater look, um, but it does take practice. And here you, we would go into the stitching pattern that your project calls for. This is the unit stitch. So whatever your pattern calls for, you could go directly into. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving me a like. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.